Hey guys, welcome to the video. So somebody asked me about my complete freelancer course. It's freelancing skills plus project management skills for budding new software developers. So I'm going to read a couple of questions he had in had for me. He says, hello, Uncle Steph, greetings. I have a couple of questions, if you don't mind. I've noticed that the complete freelancer course is from 2018. It was originally created in 2018, but like all my courses, I update them when they need to be updated. Of course, with the freelance course, very minor updates have to be done every now and then, but uh, really not many because freelancing is freelancing is freelancing. 2018, 2021, it will probably be 100% relevant in five years from now, unless the AI has come over and take over the world. But let me answer a few other questions. So question number one, are the templates still relevant to this day? Yes, they are. With the freelance course, I include five templates, project management, initial proposal, contract template, the very valuable, the very valuable time tracker template, which could actually help you to understand the whole process of building sites for people and apps for people. So they're all 100% relevant for today because uh, that kind of work hasn't changed uh, since that time. So let me just continue. Number two, are they useful with local clients from uh, Romania? That's where he's from, Romania. 100%. These templates, the habits, the working uh, habits, the way you set up contracts, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, they're 100% applicable. There'll be some tweaks here and there in terms of uh, contract details, depending on local law. But I would say that 99% of what's in there is universal around the world, unless you live in, I don't know, some regime where they don't accept capitalism. I assume there's some capitalism in your country. Um, number three, can I start freelance with a year of experience as a web developer? That's a question you get all the time. And the short answer is 100%. In fact, you can start within a few months. You just have to be competent in your basics. Of course, when you're just starting out, a few months experience, one year experience, etc. it is, uh, well, or coding skills, rather, you would take on projects that align with your skill set. So within a few months, you can be in a position where Perhaps you understand your basics of the web, HTML5, CSS3, a little JavaScript, maybe do basic CRUD with PHP, basic WordPress install, maybe theme updates, etc. You learn all this from my full stack course, links below. Yes, those are the type of projects you would take on. Here's the thing, here's the illusion about getting into the workforce as a developer, whether you're freelancing or whether you're working for somebody. Here's the illusion. The illusion that you're gonna go in there knowing absolutely everything. Nobody does. You should go in there, understanding your fundamentals, have some basic skills in different areas, depending on where you want to focus. Maybe you want to focus on full stack, or maybe you want to focus on WordPress integration with some plugins, maybe some Shopify. And you start there and you jump into it. Your job as a developer is to learn as you go, to be able to learn and adapt, especially as a freelancer. In a freelancing game, which is very fun, is that you're going to be learning all kinds of different things on the way as you go. So when you go into a project, all you need to know is maybe 80% of the tech that you have to implement. So you go into a project and let's say they got five things you got to do. Oh, let's say you got, you got 10 things you got to do for this project. As long as you know, even the seven of the, of the 10, you can learn the other three things as you do the project. That's all. It's not a big deal. So yes, Within a year, 100%, you can start freelancing. Within months, as I've seen with several people, you can start freelancing. Yes, when your first projects are going to be simple projects, but as you develop, you become more and more advanced. At the beginning, should I look for clients globally or locally? Optional. Again, I've seen people who do very well with local clients. What I suggest is maybe you go talk to some local businesses around you, coffee shops, the baker, the butcher, uh, garage, etc. Maybe go to Google Maps, check out their websites, type in garage, garages uh, in your area and check out if they have websites or if they don't have websites, etc. Cetera, et cetera. You can start doing that. Uh, the other thing you can do is go on to some of these sites, depending on where you live in the world and see if you can start working out, working there and finding contracts there. Again, 
this is a process. You're going to have to develop your skills in acquiring clients. So usually in the beginning when you're freelancing, it's a little bumpy. You won't find clients and you find one and they're not the best clients. And then once you really establish yourself, you develop a good portfolio website, you develop some good skills in terms of communications with people. Next thing you know, all of a sudden your projects will go from eh, not too many jobs and boom, too many jobs. And then you have to hire people. Happens all the time. So I talk about that in my course on freelancing links below you can check that out so he says these are his skills he has much more than enough skills to start freelancing so he says html css uh he knows uh, less of course bootstrap wordpress javascript he says beginner medium level that's fine javascript for freelance is not super important just basic for freelance is not super important uh php is far more important for freelancing Node package manager, that's fine. Clients won't know or care if you use it or not, but that, if it's useful for you and your job, sure. Know how to work with a terminal. Again, not super important because when you're working freelance, you usually small projects, you're going to use uh, your basic hosting you'll be working with. So terminal knowledge is not super important. But that being said, it's not bad to know. The more you know, the better off you are. But you don't want to get it caught in tutorial hell. You want to get into the game right away. I currently am learning PHP. PHP in database and crud tropic cart implementations wordpress these are the key to unlocking uh the freelance world and then from there you can specialize in all these different areas so there you go i hope this video was useful for you when it comes to freelance you don't need to go work for somebody else beforehand you don't need years of experience you can jump right in you just have to find the jobs that you can actually complete complete and you see that's how you're going to really learn your skills as a developer by actually doing the jobs just like just about every other profession out there in the world two last points if you're interested in my solo courses you can check out the link below if you're looking to be mentored by a developer who's been doing this since the 1990s you can join my mentoring group now the mentoring group is uh, managed by myself and I can take on a limited number of people. This is not a sales tactic. This is just a reality of the situation since I'm coaching people and so on. There's only so many hours of the day. So if you're interested in a boot camp experience, you're interested in having access to all my courses, all my training, the private mentoring group and the coaching sessions, etc. Check out the link below. Again, first come, first serve. Uh, so far, I can handle the number of people involved in the community. But again, it's uh, when uh, it starts filling up, I won't be able to take any more until people graduate through it. All right, I hope that helps. And uh, if you take anything away from this video, st stay away from uh, Ruby.